Hello there, and thanks for joining me. I'm digital artist Aaron Rutten, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use symmetry painting, which is a new feature in Adobe Photoshop CC 2018. So as you can see, when I'm drawing here, I'm drawing on a plane of symmetry that is in the vertical orientation, and I can draw things like bats and butterflies very easily. Now, before I get into all the different modes that you can use, let's go ahead and take a look at how to enable this because by default, you're not gonna be seeing this little butterfly up here in the properties bar. To get to that, you're gonna to have to go to edit, preferences, technology previews. If you enable paint symmetry, then click okay, then you'll see your little butterfly up here. And click on that, and you can create a symmetry plane. Now I'm working with the new vertical, so I'll just click on that. You get this bounding box that helps you decide where you want your plane to be, because maybe you don't want it to be center, maybe you want it to be over here. Maybe you want to have it be rotated just a little bit like that. So you can position it wherever you want. When you're ready, click on the check to apply it. It'll stay there and then you can start drawing with your brush tool and it will mirror on the side of that line. Let's take a look at the other modes. There's of course horizontal. You know, if you wanted to draw mountains or something that are reflected in a lake, that might be good for that or a waveform. Let's try dual axis. And we can draw some cool symmetrical patterns like this, mandalas and things like that. And you don't have to use just black lines. You could of course use any of the other brush tools. Let's try new wavy. It's kind of an interesting one that I don't think I've seen in other applications that have symmetry. So you could use this to do kind of a cool sword or something like that, or maybe a snake or an animal that follows that kind of symmetry. Actually kind of looks more like a pine tree rather than a sword. And then there's also circle, and spiral and parallel lines. You can experiment with the rest of these and see what they do. You can of course transform the symmetry and hide the symmetry as well, and you can turn the symmetry on and off. You can also use your last use symmetry, which could be very helpful. So if I bring that back up, it gives me the symmetry I selected before. I'm gonna take this wavy and I'm gonna move one over here. And I'm gonna do a little bit of drawing along this line. And then I'm going to save my artwork as a PSD. And I'm going to close my document and I'm gonna reopen it. I'm gonna to attempt to go back to my symmetry here. The problem is it puts it back in the center. And this is not necessarily a flaw of just Photoshop, but other applications that offer symmetry as well. Maybe you're working on this and your symmetry plane for whatever reason can't be centered and you have to move it somewhere else in your painting. Wouldn't you expect that saving would also save your symmetry plane? Well, unfortunately, at least as far as I know, you can't do that. So it's very important that when you're painting symmetrically, that you create a new layer for your lines and just keep your symmetry guide and your artwork centered. When you're done painting symmetrically, then you can take your artwork and you can move it over off center. That way you don't have to worry about your guide not matching up with your lines. And so if I were returning to this document here and I wanted to continue working on it with symmetry, just put in my new wavy, it's there centered with my artwork that's centered and I don't have to worry about my guide not lining up, I can continue working. So there you go, that's a look at how to use the new symmetry painting modes in Adobe Photoshop CC 2018. If you found this information helpful, take a quick second to like this video. And if you're new to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. I have a lot more tutorials for digital artists like you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.